What's going on, everybody? This is Joe, and I am back to open another Kaldheim pre-release pack. I love pre-release packs. I may have a problem, and I don't care. But also, uh, if you've been paying attention to the channel, you will have noticed that on the live streams and in the jar recently, this past week's jar, you should definitely watch them, by the way. You can subscribe and ring the bell if you have not already. You will find out when all of our videos come out, and every time we go live, you will get a notification to your phone to let you know that, um, and that will help you out to know when all these things come out, because JAR was a bit special this week as well. So I encourage you to definitely go check that out, in addition to our Monday live streams where we play Magic Arena, and our Friday live streams where this past Friday we finished up Marvel's Avengers. So uh, we encourage you to check that stuff out from us. But the reason I bring all those things up is not just for shameless promotion, although, hey, it was there, so thank you. Um, but I brought it up because we have a guest here with us in the studio area, the apartment here. Uh, and that is our good friend Dave. Uh, it's been it's kind of a theme week here. <laughs> it's uh, it'll be uh, maybe a theme two weeks. We, we shall see. But mm -hmm. regardless, uh, it is great to have you with us. Thank you, you for having me. Yes. And for those of you that missed it, last week I opened the first pre-release pack, um, and I got some pretty sweet stuff. So I'm looking forward to seeing what we get this week in this Kaldheim pre-release pack opening. So Dave, you've been on one of our streams already, uh -huh. and that was kind of the first time that you've seen Kaldheim cards in general, correct? Yeah. Okay. And that was digital version, so this will be the first time you're seeing physical cards. Yeah. Okay, so um, for those of us like myself who try to collect all five colors, uh, the this is unfortunate, yeah. um, but that's two of eight, so we still have more to go. Uh, and hopefully we will be helped out there with that. I will leave this on the side. Um, the contents of this, first of all, we have the packs themselves. We'll leave that on the side because we're going to open that up. Obviously, because why else are we here? Oh, right. I know why some of you are here. It's for this. <laughs> this is going to be a code for MTG Arena for you to get some free stuff. Um, I know shout-outs to Erica, who got hers last week. So congratulations to her. Um, feel free by the way, um, well, sorry, at some random point in the video, this will be here, not just yet, but this is our way of thanking you for watching the videos, so at some random point, we will get that going. Uh, there's also an insert in there for Kaldheim, so cool looking. Kaldheim! And then the little, like, dragony looking thing here on the bottom, getting into a big old fight. So there's that, kind of cool. There is the snowy or icy um, divider for your deck box to divide your deck and your sideboard. And then there is my promo foil rare, which is gorgeous. It is the Tyrite Sanctum. Yeah, that looks insanely good mm -hmm. in foil. My god, I love that. I'm gonna actually take it out of the packaging so it's a little bit easier to see. Because, you know, if all the foils are going to Pringle anyways, oh, uh, then it doesn't really matter how I do this. Um, but I'm going to take it out so that people can see it a little bit better. My God, look at it. Look at that. Oh, it's so the, gorgeous. The, 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 the firefly lighting, the St. Elmo's fire kind of thing going on. So good. So, so good. So uh, that is this. Uh, to be fair, um, it's... It's fine. Like, if we have legendary creatures, this card's fine. If not, we probably don't play that, but it's pretty. So there's that. Uh, there's a Kaya pack. But yeah, the, the, it's a land that produces colorless, and then if we have legendary creatures, then it gets really good. But we have to have, like, you know, probably more than two in the deck to make it worth it. So here is a Breakneck Berserker to start. Warhorn Blast. Whoops. A Draugr Recruiter. Mammoth Growth. Mistwalker, this was a good one for us this past week. Mm -hmm. Infernal Pet, Shimmer Drift Veil, gorgeous art mm -hmm. on this land. Snowland, too. Dusk Wielder, Dwarven Reinforcements, Raise the Draugr, sick art on this one, too. They're underwater, so these are the bottoms of boats. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Pirates of the Caribbean thing going on. Basically, yeah, actually. We have a Skemfar Shadow Sage as our first uncommon in this pack. A dual strike as the second. A lot of black cards in this pack I've noticed so far. And an Agar the Freezing Flame. This card is quite good. And it's a legendary creature, so Tyrate Sanctum says what's up. Uh, and Tyrate Sanctum can go in any deck, which is nice because it produces colorless. It's just a land. But my, my rare or mythic in the pack is... 
A Reckless Crew. This card is very weird and probably does not make the cut. Um, cause yeah, it's just weird. I don't even know that it's like, like even kind of good. I don't like it. Anyway, behind Reckless Crew, we have an ice tunnel. First of all, gorgeous. Mm -hmm. Second of all, another Snowland. So if we try to do blue and or black ice, this is very good for that deck. Or snow, I should say. Don't do black eyes, it's dangerous. <laughs> that is very dangerous. Uh, and a human warrior token. Very cool. I'll actually leave those on the side so we remember what we have. We move on to a Nico pack next. The new Planeswalker for the set, or one of the two new Planeswalkers for the set, I should say. Inside of that pack, we start with a Seize the Spoils. Okay. I mean, we've seen a lot of red and a lot of black. Obviously, we have uh, Agar as well. Interesting. Battlefield Raptor is a very good card. Mm -hmm. In fact, we can move that a little closer. Bergstrider, also quite good. Coma's Faithful. A Horizon Seeker. Another Mistwalker. Another Shimmer Drift Veil. A Stalwart Valkyrie. Love the colors on any of the Angel cards, any of the, like, Starnheim-based cards. Just gorgeous with the rainbow a rainbow of colors in there we have a dusk wielder again a serolf's packmate very nice a frenzied raider is the first uncommon so if we wanted to go a little bit more um aggro or reckless we could do that with this kind of a card and some other things that we've opened like you know a four mana two three flying death touch haste Vengeful Reaper. This card's so good. And that's our second uncommon. Gorgeous. She's absolutely gorgeous. And a Bredegard Stronghold is the third. So if we go green and white, this card is uh, almost certainly an include. And our next rare or mythic is... <laughs> yeah, it is. Yeah. First of all, my favorite art in the set. Not even a question. So gorgeous. But also... Probably the best card in the set for limited. Just insane. Um, four mana make a 4-4 four, four white angel creature token with flying and vigilance. But if you foretell it for X, X white, you make X of those 4-4 four, four white angel creature tokens with flying and vigilance instead. Oh it is absolutely incredible. So for five mana, you get two 4-4s. Four, yeah, it's insane. This card's insane. So uh, yeah, this gets in. Uh, I don't... I don't... I can't imagine what else we could possibly open where we wouldn't play this, but I guess the question is, what do we play alongside white? It's probably red, to be honest, based on what we've seen so far, just to be aggro, as aggro as possible, and then have this just shut the door entirely on any defense our opponent could make. But, you know, I'm always open to people's opinions in the comments, but yeah, this card's insane. And, like, at certain points in the game against most opponents, probably just unbeatable. Um... Behind Starnheim Unleashed, we have a Snow-Covered Mountain, which is pretty uh, okay, and then a Dwarf Berserker, which, again, if we are playing white-red and trying to go aggro, we will almost certainly be using these. Now, after the Mythic that we opened, and I did not plan that, I just put it randomly somewhere in the stack, this is a code for MTG Arena. First of all, these codes are long, so best of luck to you. But this is our way of saying thank you. We try not to advertise, except to our actual viewers, that we are that we give these away in these videos. It's to thank you for being loyal, coming here, and watching our stuff. We really do appreciate it. Please remember that if you've used a code already from a Kaldheim pre-release pack on MTG Arena. You will not be able to use another. It is one per account. So be aware of that. Don't waste your time. And if you do get the code, be like Erica was last week. Again, shout outs to Erica and congratulations to her. Be like Erica and leave it in the comments that you got that code. So first of all, we can congratulate you. And secondly, you can let your fellow viewers know that you did get this code. Proof but, of concept. Yes. But again, this is a thank you for watching our stuff. Enjoy that super long code. Feel free to pause. I'll leave it here for a couple of seconds. Best of luck to you all. Code is massive. Yep. Don't like again, it's very clear that they like had a code or had some codes, and then they were like, Wow, we're gonna run out of um combinations of codes and characters and stuff, so we gotta make this thing longer, which kind of sucks. But anyway, here is a Tybalt pack inside of the Tybalt pack. Let's see what we have to follow up the best mythic in the set for limited, huh? We have a Brine Barrow Intruder first. Run amok, very good. Wings of the Cosmos, not bad. Elder Fang Disciple, Masked Vandal, Priest of the Haunted Edge, 
Amy would comment on his eyeshadow. Mm -hmm. A Vault Robber. Iron Verdict is a great card. Look at that dude's face. He's not happy that he's about to have his head chopped off. No, but he's resigned. <laughs> he's resigned, yeah. A Dogged Pursuit, not a bad card. Ooh, we have a Showcase Art Cole the Forge Master. So, notably... Um, we don't really have a ton of enchantments or equipment yet, but if we are going white-red, I mean, this is probably the way we want to go. Hopefully we get some more equipment. But, yeah, this is the alt art, the showcase art for Cole the Forge Master. Just gorgeous. With the showcase frame and everything. The frame, absolutely. Yeah. Gorgeous. Very, very beautiful. And our first uncommon. What a what a good one to open up. We have a Certland Frost Pyre as our second. I, I don't know gorgeous. what it is with, like... Molten lava through the snowy fields. It's just, uh, it's very striking. I agree. It's really, really nice. And again, like the Fortress of Solitude esque uh, structure in the background. And f <laughs> okay, yeah, we're probably supposed to be in those two colors, huh? Uh, forging the Tyrite Sword. So once again, we really want equipment. And even then, like this card is also gorgeous, by the way. Um, yeah, we want equipment. If not, neither of these two gold cards get in even if we're playing those colors. So more equipment, please. And then our rare, because this isn't even our rare, our rare or mythic in this pack is... Okay, interesting. It's Egon, God of Death. And Egon, I'm going to have to do this this way and show it to you from the back. But Egon, on the other side, since he is a modal double-faced card, is the Throne of Death. Hmm. So he's the God of Death or his Throne of Death. Interesting. I don't love this card. We talked about this on our stream this past week. The, the art is great on Egon um, and, and on the Throne, but the card itself, I don't love it. I won't lie to you. So probably don't play it, um, but it's there. It's our, it's our rare. Um, and then we have a Snow-Covered Mountain. I thought there was something else in here. I think there might be. But there's another Snow-Covered Mountain. And then we have a foil common in Elder Leaf Mentor. So, make sure that we can get the foiling pattern. There it is. Mm. Nah. Very, very nice. On the, um, yeah. on the shield, it's very nice. Yeah. Looks really cool. And the background. But yeah, I've always said the, the subject of the art, if it is not in foil, it's not the best. Mm -hmm. But the shield looks pretty nice. So, that's, that saves it a little bit. And then behind it, we have a replacement card. Uh, to put in your deck in place of like a modal double-faced card so that your card has a an actual magic back if you're not planning on sleeving your deck. But as I've always said, you should probably just sleeve your deck. We have another Nico pack. I have noticed, actually, uh, a lot less Tyvar Kell packs, at least in this kit and the last kit, than um, than any of the others. It's it's odd to me. We have a Craven Hulk to start. We have a Gold Maw Champion, Mists of Lit Yara, Hoggy Mob. This Hoggy one's, Mob. Yeah, this is a fun one. We have a Draugr Recruiter again. We have a Yaspara Sentinel, a Demon Bolt, very Demon nice Bolt. one for uh, our deck if we are trying to go those particular colors. We have another Iron Verdict. Another Dogged Pursuit. A Run Ashore. Not a bad card. A Spectral Steel is our first uncommon. Hmm. I mean, if we're doing auras and equipments, that would work, but we don't have a lot of equipments yet, which is unfortunate. Ah, an Elven Bow. Unfortunately, it's in the wrong colors. Not what I meant, cards. Not what I meant for equipment. And a Rune of Flight, again, would be nice, but not exactly what we're looking for. This is going to be... Weird. Uh, so our next rare mythic is Blood on the Snow. Such a cool, cool card. Um, it works in snow decks, which we don't really have. I mean, maybe we go white black instead of white red. I have no idea. <sighs> Very confusing. This art is insane. It's just so cool and so well done. It's gross, but it's awesome. There's a lot of blood on that snow. Anyway, then there is a snow-covered island. Not bad. That's lovely. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. And uh, an ad card. And boo ad cards. Okay, two packs remaining. Tyvar Kel. Again, as I was saying, I feel like there's so few 
Tyvar packs. At least in the two kits that we've opened, we've had one Tyvar pack per kit, which is very odd. We have a Draugr Thought Thief to start this pack. A Tuscary Firewalker. Axe Guard Braggart. Love this guy. What a great card. Yaspera Sentinel. Village Rites. Frost Peak Yeti. Yay! He's awesome. Invoke the Divine. Sweet art on this card. Serral's Packmate again. Not bad. Jarl of the Forsaken. Not a bad card either. Open the Omen Paths. Is a very sweet art. Provoke the Trolls is a good card. It's our first uncommon. Invasion of the Giants. We did get Agar earlier, but Invasion of the Giants is our second. It's not white, which is unfortunate. Although, I guess Starnham Unleashed with the foretell of a single white could definitely be splashed if we really wanted to go two colors that aren't white. And Poison the Cup. Very good. We should very almost we should probably play black. Um, so maybe black white, maybe black and a different color like black red and splash Starnheim Unleashed. Either way, I guess we can see if this rare and or the next rare or mythic uh, help us out. But this one is wow, cool. It is an Arnie Broken Brow. 3-3 three, three, haste for 3, and then he can boast, so it works with the uncommon that we got earlier that gets plus 1, plus 1 counters when your creatures boast, so that's pretty cool. Plus, it is, of course, the showcase alt art. I will also point out, I'm pretty sure this, that, yeah, two in two kits, this is my second Arnie Broken Brow. It's my second showcase art Arnie Broken Brow, which is always super funny to me. Like, there are showcase arts for these cards, and so many times I have more of the showcase art than I do of the original, and it, it feels like the showcase is supposed to be the special one, but sometimes it's just, you know, luck of the draw doesn't really work out that way. Anyway, behind Arnie, we have another ice tunnel. That's pretty good. So two ice tunnels and a snow-covered island if we wanted to go blue snow. And a zombie berserker token, which is very sick-looking art. Really, really cool. He's got a huge beard, doesn't he? He is a really, uh, like down to here, but yeah, pretty nice. I like it a lot. I can't remember the last time I've seen a bearded zombie. <laughs> right? Probably, the, you think the hair follicles would fall out after a while uh, as it's like decaying and stuff. Gross. Anyway, the final pack is a Tybalt pack. And inside of the Tybalt pack is a Master Scald. Disdainful Stroke. Cool art there. Another Priest of the Haunted Edge. A Guardian Glade Walker. Not bad. Another Open the Omen Paths. Another Frost Peak Yeti. There you go, Dave. Yay. Another Jarl of the Forsaken. A Raven Wings. There's an equipment. It's not the best, but it's fine, I guess. An close. Yeah. Another Raise the Draugr. Another Invoke the Divine. And Arnie Slays the Troll. So we not only get Arnie, but we get Arnie Slays the Troll. It's our first uncommon. It's a saga art. And so good. So good. The art. The card is also totally fine. We have a Port of Carfell. So if we did go Ice Tunnel Colors, blue-black, um, this would definitely get in. And a Maya, Bredegard Protector. I mean, we did have the Sarulf's Packmates, I guess. I didn't see a ton of things in green that jumped out at me, but Maya is an incredible card. Um, interesting. Yeah, I might need some help in the comments, folks. That's for damn sure. Uh, anyway, our final rare or mythic is... Let's see if it helps. Wow, okay. Interesting pack. It is a battle for Bredegard. So again, this creates tokens. Maya wants you to go wide. Green White wants you to go wide. Starnheim Unleashed makes tokens as well. Interesting. This kit feels like it's kind of all over the place. Um, this card's pretty good, though. Behind Battle for Bredegard, a snow-covered island. So we have two snow-covered islands, two ice tunnels, and two snow-covered mountains. Interesting um, breakdown there. And a spirit token. Very cool-looking spirit token as well. Okay. I mean, hey, I have genuinely no idea what I would do. Uh, you know, do I go... Like, that last pack alone, I don't think, is what pulls us into green-white. I really feel like it should probably be, like, 
red black or white black or something um and just splashing white for um for Starnham Unleashed cuz this card's incredible it there's almost no way it doesn't go in i know we don't have a ton of fixing but i know we have a lot of um or i should say two of the um shimmer drift veil which adds one mana of a chosen of the chosen color so it could come in we choose a color and we put that in so there's like a snow deck that could be made here, I feel like. We had some of those Frost Peak Yetis and stuff. So yeah, uh, you all have the benefit of like going back and forth in the video and seeing what we opened. That's Those are the things that stand out to me. I'm just curious, what, what kind of a deck would you make with this kit? Sometimes they're a little bit more cut and dry and like obvious to me. This one, like I said, is kind of all over the place. I just feel like this Mythic is so good that I would definitely want to make sure that I played it. Um, and then based on our other rares, like the Reckless Crew isn't good enough, the Tyrate Sanctum isn't good enough to like, and by good enough, I mean not good enough to like be heavily considered um, where like we have to play those cards. So, you know, Arnie's fine, Blood on the Snow is good. I said I don't love Egon, um, but Starnham Unleashed almost certainly gets in. So any opinions that you might have, we would love to hear from you down in the comments below. Dave, what did you think of uh, these like arts and stuff? We've uh, kind of talked about that on Monday, but so I mean I know at least that um, they obviously were going for the more Norse thing, but um, I don't know like the the borders especially the, the ones with the borders and the um, I've been really liking the the legends the, uh, the the story versions of them the showcase ones the showcase yeah ones. yeah yeah but yeah then also just like the border art is like a really nice little touch to really drive home the theme of it I like the little subtle like frosting on the snowlands and then uh, yeah the um, Stratheim is absolutely gorgeous. Uh, I love it. Like I said, my definitely my favorite art in the set. Uh, and in fact, if you look on the sides of the um, of the kits, it's a zoomed in version of that art uh. on the sides of the kits. So I love that they did that because it's my favorite art in the set. So there you go. So that is going to be the end of this particular video. Please do not worry. If you did not get the code for this one, there will be five more videos where you will be able to get a code and then the last one we are keeping for ourselves because as we've said we make uh arena content so you know we definitely need it but um but yeah we will have five more chances for codes keep your eyes out we'll be back next week with another opening thank you all so very much for watching for now from us here at the geek for all family of channels i have been joe and i've been david thanks for joining me dave nice to be here <laughs> That was very appropriately Porky Pig, and I appreciated it. Uh, so, as we always say, in whichever video of ours you watch next, we will see you all next time. Thanks, everybody. Bye.